Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you in this video how you can get from LaGuardia Airport to Times Square for only $2.75. I'm here at uh, LaGuardia Airport's Central Terminal B at the baggage claim level. So let's just assume that you picked up your luggage. Now you need to figure out the best way to get to Manhattan. You could uh, enter at these taxi stands over here, or you can uh, follow the signs to the car service area. And uh, to get an Uber to Times Square would cost $54. Of course, Uber has variable pricing depending on the uh, traffic conditions and surge pricing and whatnot. But this method for now costs $2.75 to ride and it involves taking the public bus to the subway. So let's follow the signs to shuttles and buses. For this route specifically, I'm going to be taking the recommended one, which is the Q70 LaGuardia Link uh, bus to the Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue station. Now uh, there's multiple bus lines that serve this airport. You can see here all the different bus lines. Um, the other ones are the M60 bus that goes towards um, Astoria, Queens, and then goes over the bridge to Upper Manhattan, serving Harlem, Morningside Heights. And um, the Q72 uh, serves Junction Boulevard down to Regal Park. And the Q48 bus goes to Flushing Main Street. There is no train that goes to the airport directly. There have been talks to, about, um, about building a train to the airport, but it's been very um, controversial. So until that happens, we've got to take the uh, public bus to and from the airport if we're doing public transit. So before we board the bus, I have to explain about the uh, fair payment system of the MTA, which is the transit agency. And uh, you have to buy a MetroCard over here if you want to use their payment method. But um, the MTA recently uh, launched their Omni program, which is a contactless fare option. So if you prefer to tap to pay, like here, they're advertising it over here that you don't even have to worry about this step because you can get your card or your smart device and tap it on the reader on the bus and the subway turnstile and not even have to worry about buying a metro card. But if you want to uh, do it this way, you can. So start. If you get a new card, a new metro card, there's always a $1 fee and you could load a specific amount of money on if you want or a unlimited ride option. You can see the different options here. A seven day option is $33, a 30 day is 127 and the express uh, seven day pass is 60 something. It even got cut off. <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, MetroCard system. And I think there's also a uh, single ride option too but they don't offer it at this uh, payment kiosk so let's just say you bought a metro car from there now you just follow the signs for the shuttles and buses also check too if your uh, accommodations have a hotel shuttle because they may offer it and pick you up from the airport you don't even have to deal with the uh, public transportation here. You see the signs are clearly labeled, hotel shuttles to the left, airport buses to the other terminals and parking is over here. That uh, bus over there is going for a hotel. Oh, here's the Q70 now. We got to follow it. It says here, public buses to subway. Now normally, this bus operates on a proof of payment system. You need to use this machine here to put your metro card in. But due to some kind of a promotion, they're making everyone ride free. A 
about this all connect to the Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue complex. If you have the contactless fare option, you'd uh, tap it here and you'll get on. But since it's free today, you don't have to do that. But um, even though this bus is quote unquote free to ride today, you still get a free transfer to the bus under normal circumstances. As you can see here, this bus isn't really too full. And we just got uh, on it from the airport. This is actually the route that I would recommend to get to and from the airport. The other buses, they uh, serve a more indirect route and they use the local streets. There's only two stops on this bus. Next one is uh, Jackson Heights, Roosevelt Avenue. And then the next one is Woodside Avenue. At Woodside, you can catch the uh, Long Island Railroad to Penn Station. on the highway which is what makes this bus very good
tiny bit of traffic right now. places to eat around here, including Indian, Bengali, Nepalese, uh, Hispanic, endless amounts of food, Filipino.
got a bus in the way. Don't want to get run over. So we want to go into this structure right here, the Roosevelt Avenue Jackson Heights Station. And the turnstiles are right here. If you use the same payment method you use to uh, board the bus, then you could use that and get a free transfer. Either tap to pay or your Metro card. And we want to go downstairs here. You can also take the 7 train upstairs, but I find that it's a bit slower. By going this way, we can take... Um, either the E train or the F, which is an express. And since I'm going to uh, Times Square, I'd rather take the E train to 42nd Street Port Authority, which is on 8th Avenue, or the F train to 42nd Street Bryant Park, which is on 6th Avenue. Both are one block away from Times Square. So whichever one comes first. So I want to go uh, here. Manhattan and Brooklyn. Express trains on the left, local trains on the right. And look at that, it came right away. It's an F train. You can also take the local train too, but it just takes a little bit longer. That's an M. That'll also serve the same stop that I'm going to be going to on the F, which is uh, 42nd Street Bryant Park. see here, here's the subway map. This is where I came from, LaGuardia Airport. The yellow uh, dotted one is the bus route I took to here. And now we're going to get the F train. It's going to go uh, over here. And I'm going to get off over here.
Oh, it's across the platform. But it's leaving. <laughs> they already closed the doors. That actually looks like it's holding the doors for people want to go on. Doesn't really like we look like they gave enough time for people they wanted to transfer across though. We have to kind of rush there. That train will run on uh, 7th Avenue and then Broadway, while this one will just run on 6th Avenue. So make sure you take the train that serves your destination. You don't just follow any train that comes. No, 
Staircase, 42nd Street and 6th Avenue. I'm gonna walk to 7th Avenue and I'll end my video there. Southwest corner as close as the Times Square. It's uh, quite cold today. Right now the time is about uh, 4.30. And I think the temperature is right at freezing. 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. It's also a Thursday. And here we are in Midtown Manhattan from LaGuardia Airport in just under 40 minutes. Not bad at all. And right here, there's the uh, Hilton Garden Inn Hotel and the Knickerbocker Hotel. And that will be the walk from Bryant Park to Times Square. Didn't take too long. All right, folks, if you found this video useful, then smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.